Question 17, have a go. Okay, now because this is y equals 3x minus 1, because we've got no squares involved, we know this is going to be a straight line. So what I suggest you do is just start off by plotting the couple of points that they will give you. They've given us minus 1, minus 4. So it's 1 to the left and 4 down. And they've also given us 1, 2. So 1 to the right and 2 up. Get your ruler out and draw in the straight line. And you can now go and fill in these other values from, from your straight line. So when x is minus 2, here's minus 2. y is minus 7. When x is uh, naught, so nothing along the corridor, we're 1 down the stairs. When x is 2, we are 5 up. So basically, use the table to do the graph, then use the graph to complete the table. And then the other thing to do is a little check. Just spot the pattern. Look, these are going up in threes all the time. So that makes it look like we're probably right. Question 18, have a go. So this is a prism. Remember what a prism is. It's some three-dimensional shape where it's a constant cross-section throughout. So how do we go and work out volume of a prism? Step one, we work out the area of the end bit. And step two, we times it by how fat it is. Now, the area of the end bit in this, in this situation with the cylinder is a circle. So how do we work out the area of a circle? Well, we go through our little formula. Cottage pie is delicious. Apple pies are too. We don't want the cottage pie bit. We want the area formula. So the area is pi r squared. Pi times the radius, which is 4, times 4 again. Now, putting that into a calculator, we get 50.265. So that's the area of the circle. Then step 2 was to times by how fat it is, which is 24. So the answer we've just got, times 24, gives us this, which is rounds to this to three significant figures.